Time for a Cougar chat with Chicago State men's soccer goalie, Jacob Huber. Jacob, welcome in. Thank you. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm doing well, Jacob. You excited for the season to get going? Yes, I'm very excited. Um, it's a young program, um, but we got a lot of guys coming in that are really good, really good, and I'm looking forward to see what we can get done in our first season. First season for Chicago State men's soccer in a really long time. Late 1980s, you and I were not alive last time Chicago State played men's soccer. What does it mean to you to be a part of the renaissance? Oh, it, so much. Um, I think we're, uh, we're making history this season. Um, and I'm, it, just, it means a ton because not many people get to do this. Um, and I think it's a lot of weight on our shoulders, which is good. And I'm excited about that to bring this program back strong and uh, hopefully bring home some trophies in the next couple of years. Why are you a goalie? Why am I a goalkeeper? Um, I think I'm a goalkeeper because uh, leadership is an important thing to me. Um, since I was younger, um, I'm really vocal and um, outspoken. And as a goalkeeper, I can talk, 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 talk in the back. And um, I, that's just something that goes with my personality type for sure. So if I met you and you were a five-year-old, you know, little Jacob Huber, were you always a goalie or were you just kind of doing everything and then you ended up with it later? Um, well, my dad was my uh, first coach in like Pee Wee Leagues. And uh, I asked him what position I could play where I had to run the least. And he said, well, you could be a goalkeeper. And I was like, all right, that sounds great. And then here I am. Um, it's been about 15, 14 years I've been playing keeper and I haven't touched a position other than that. And I really enjoy it. And you don't have to run that much. And I don't have to run that much. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Coach Banks hears this. Yes. He might give you some extra sprints. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> so take me in the head of a goalkeeper, because it, it's so interesting. In so many sports, your goal is to score. Certainly in soccer, Definitely. everyone else just wants to score. you got to be the stopper. What's that mentality have to be like? Um, it is – it's – an intense mentality because, you know, when things get that close to us, um, it's a dire situation. And um, I think the biggest mentality is to do anything I possibly can to keep the ball out of the back of the net, no matter what it is, throwing, even if it's throwing myself in front of a swinging leg, um, anything like that. And sometimes I really have to give myself up just to make sure that the ball isn't in the back of the net. And that's, that's kind of what it's like as a goalkeeper. That also is a big role as like our center backs and outside backs is just doing anything and everything we can to keep the ball out of the back of the net. Give me the best save you ever made. Ooh, the best save I've ever made. Um, I think it would be regional finals in high school. Uh, we were going up against one of my fellow club teammates, um, and he took a, a first-touch volley off of a cross, and I managed to get it out of the top corner, and that was probably, probably my best save. Top corner saves must be sort of a next-level type of celebration oh, for you. It feels so good. It was probably the best feeling I've experienced in my life, definitely. <laughs> All right, Jacob, hate to bring you back from that emotional <laughs> high. We've been pretty happy-go-lucky so far. I want to hear the worst goal you've given up. Oh, that's definitely – so my sophomore year, first, first season starting, um, we, were in the re, we were in sectional finals against our rival, our county rival, and uh, there's about 10 seconds left. And we were up 1-0, and I dropped the ball. And they were kind of pressuring me. So when I dropped it, they were first to touch in. And uh, we ended up losing in overtime. That was, a, that was a humbling moment as a sophomore in high school, for sure. So after that, did it change anything about the way you play or the way you think um, about the game? Attention to detail, for sure. Um, even in the last couple minutes of the game, last couple seconds, you have to be on your P's and Q's, and you can't let anything slide, especially as a goalkeeper. So let's slide off the pitch now. If I were to hang out with you for a week, what would I learn about you? Oh, <laughs> a lot. Um, I'm very, I like to crack jokes. You know, I'm a funny guy. Uh, I like um, listening to music. I, I listen to a lot of music all the time. Um, there's always music coming out of my phone. And um, I like to be out with friends, not really a homebody. Um, I think you'd also learn that I, I like my – my spaces to be controlled chaos. I'm not a super, super clean guy, but you know, I, I can't do my thing. <laughs> controlled chaos. So yeah. I walk in your dorm room, it'll look like a tornado went through it. And you're <laughs> telling me that's controlled chaos? Yes, I would. You might think, wow, Jake, you need to uh, pick up your room. And I'm like, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, Jacob, tell me what inspires you. What inspires me to play soccer? Or it can be soccer. It can be life if you want. Um, what inspires me in life is, um, so I have this kind of perfectionist attitude. Um, and I think my strong desire and expectations for myself as a perfectionist is, is what it really inspires me to do my very best and to keep working because you can never be perfect, right? It's essentially something that you're always working at and constantly trying to achieve. So as a perfectionist with those expectations for myself, that inspires me that to just keep going and keep working and trying to get better at everything I do on and off the pitch. As a fellow perfectionist, I would imagine it's somewhat difficult as a goalkeeper to be a perfectionist because yeah. you being perfect would mean that every game's a shutout, but that just can't be the case, right? Well, so you hear a lot, a phrase that goes around is you can't save every shot. But um, I've, I've read a lot and listened to a lot of podcasts from fellow goalkeepers and things like that. And I think it's, it's not the right mentality because, I mean, there are shots that are really well placed and really and like a really hard shot to save, but I don't think anything's impossible. I think if I was a perfect goalkeeper, I would save every shot. And I don't think it's an unrealistic expectation. It is an expectation I have of myself is to save every shot, no matter where it's placed in the net. Right. If you go in thinking, oh, well, there's a well, certain percentage of right. shots that I'm just not going to save. Well, then you're kind of putting yourself at a disadvantage. Yeah. One thing is at practice, like every shot that I don't save is always one that I'm like, man, I should have got that one. And sometimes teammates are like, no, don't, don't beat yourself up. Like that was a really good shot, but I could always have got there. Whether it's cutting angles or being in a better position, I can always, always improve as far as making saves for sure. You mentioned learning from other goalkeepers. Yes. Give me a professional who you really, really aspire to. Who? Um, I think uh, Gigi Buffon. Um, he's probably my main idol. And then when I was younger, uh, around like 15, 14, there was the World Cup going on. And Ochoa, uh, leading Mexico, he was going crazy. He was making some ridiculous saves. And uh, I think he was probably one of the ones I looked up to a lot because um, we share similar play styles. Um, I, have, like, I like to play high off my line and use my feet a lot, which I play more. Of, that's a, more of a South American style goalkeeper. Um, so I really... Um, like associate with that play style and like him like he's one of my top idols too for sure i can tell you're really a student of the game do you play yeah. fifa <laughs> i have i don't much anymore but i definitely have for sure is it frustrating for you that when you play fifa you're controlling everyone but the goalkeeper oh yeah there are there are mechanics in fifa with goalkeeping that disgust me absolutely <laughs> disgust me and i'm i'm just i sit there and i think of mocap which is how they capture the movements of players and i'm like come on it can't be that hard like what is he doing in there like that's not something we do <laughs> for sure all right so no fifa just real soccer coming around yeah. the corner jacob huber thank you but before i let you go time for a lightning round you ready i'm so ready hit me if you could eat from only one restaurant for the rest of your life what would it be as always what's your favorite movie uh the Truman show algebra or geometry geometry for sure <laughs> all right we're going on a flight you can pick window middle aisle what's your pick window starbucks order uh black coffee nice Mild rough. nice me too me too uh using an australian accent tell me your favorite type of bread oh uh <laughs> um I have no idea how to go about this. Um, uh, Oi, mate, my favorite bread is wheat bread. <laughs> That's actually pretty good for someone who exuded no confidence about it. Uh, <laughs> what would your super uh, superhero name be? Oh. Captain Savage, for sure. <laughs> Ooh, I like yeah, that. Sure. I get CS, Captain yes. Savage. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Captain Savage. Thanks for hopping on Cougar Chats. Yeah, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it.